Hello, uh, this video is about Business Contact Manager for Outlook 2013. I've recently upgraded Microsoft Office. Um, I've abandoned using version 2010 and went forward with the latest Microsoft Office, uh, which has Outlook 2013. And I've managed to find a way, um, actually Microsoft had released a compatibility pack um, or brand new BCM. So I'm just going to introduce that to you guys quickly. Uh, so let me just go on and open my Outlook. Now you'll see that I'm using Outlook 2013 as major um, improvement in the UI in uh, Outlook 2013. And you'll see it looks totally different. Uh, but it actually has the same kind of features. I mean, uh, the only major upgrade, uh, in my view, really is the UI. Um, but using BCM is, is very important. And you'll see here that here I have um, uh, my Outlook. And if you look to my uh, my left, you'll see that I have Business Contact Manager finally installed. And in terms of the UI, if you look at the bottom, you're going to see now how the new buttons are. Now, it used to be that the buttons were to the left uh, pane, and there were multiple buttons. But now, uh, rather than have them vertically, they're horizontally on the bottom and a really nice uh, form. I actually really like the way it looks. It looks very clean and very neat. So I'm going to click on Business Contact Manager and it's going to quickly connect to my little SQL server that I have installed. And we have all the latest and greatest and uh, brand new toys uh, right in front of us. So I'm going to go to Contact Management and this is my sample database uh, on my machine. And again, a uh, completely different uh, feel and look. Um, but almost the same thing. You'll see when I go to file, we have our business contact manager settings uh, where we're able to do all uh, of the things we've done before. Um, now Microsoft, uh, I believe, want, want to push people to using CRM. Um, you see here, they actually created a link that says take BCM to the next level, learn how, how to do it with um, dynamic CRM, which is a cloud-based uh, system. And, probably very costly and that's why a lot of people don't want to go with a business contact manager for Outlook um, but BCM is still uh, a big hit and it's uh, one of those things when you buy it once and you always have it um, so again we have all of our settings it doesn't appear that they've done anything new with the 2013 um, compatibility version uh, you'll see I can still go to customize and uh, create my own uh, record types or entities as I call them um, Entities is just a word I took from CRM, which I work with constantly nowadays. But um, if you take a look here, I'm still able to create um, new account types, new business contact types, still able to customize forms. For example, uh, I can take a business contact, click on customize the form or do it directly within the contact. And I'm able to do multiple things. Um, yeah, let me go and open one of my contacts up. So here is a sample contact and business contact manager. This is what it looks like. Um, it's actually pulling uh, a lot of the UI changes from the new Outlook, the new 2013 version. So it's, it's a very graphical intense uh, program. You see, it even has my LinkedIn uh, connector working in here where I'm able to see all my LinkedIn information. Uh, you know, I can map addresses directly. I mean, they added a lot of really cool stuff. This, Some of this, if not most of this, it already existed in the previous version of BCM. But in this particular version, um, again, other than the intense UI changes, uh, there's really not much going on here that's any really different. Um, you see here I'm able to... Oh, it looks like I found the f my first bug. I just actually just upgraded now. Let me just go in here real quick and take a look. Once I open up uh, Business Contact, and to my very right I have my forum layout. Now I also en enabled my Developer tab. Um, uh, let me see if through the developer tab I'm able to design this form. Looks like I am able to make changes very similar to how we made changes before uh, in my other video to customizing Outlook. Now this may still be very buggy. I'll tell you why because they actually released this not long ago. And I'll show you where the link is. Let me open Google Chrome and I'm just going to type in here uh, BCM 2013 compatibility. And you'll see I clicked a couple of links. And here is what I went on to install. The very first link shows you 
um, that there is a small upgrade uh, for both 64 and 32 bit systems. And this is a compatibility pack. Uh, the goal is to ensure that Microsoft Office 2013 users are able to use BCM. Now, I'm not using this compatibility pack. What I'm using is actually went down a little bit lower, and I found here um, full installation for upgrading. And I went on and clicked that, and here is the file I downloaded uh, the x64 version of the BCM setup and that went on to install BCM here. The only issue I'm, I, I seem to be having with this is that when I open up a contact, um, when I go to form layout, I'm having difficulty because it, it's trying to let me customize the... it looks like the subject business contact entity type phone call. It's the wrong form and I have a feeling that it has to do with a bug within uh, BCM. I'm going to end up resolving this or just probably updating it or finding a solution to updating it. It just looks like when I go and add a new contact, it looks actually very good. Um, doesn't look any different than anything else. But when attempting to customize it, it's the only problem that we're having. No, I don't want to save my changes. Let me go straight to file and the main settings here. I really wanted to show you guys um, how to customize it. I actually just upgraded, which is why I wanted to make this video. Um, a lot of people ask me whether BCM would still work with 2013, um, and it does. Uh, Microsoft did not plan on fully abandoning it. Um, a lot of people rely on this, actually. Um, so when customizing the business contact form, it keeps bringing up the phone call form. All right, it appears that the customize button is broken, but that's just for now. Maybe this little update here will uh, will fix it. I don't. Well, this is not the update. Let me cancel this. Now the link for this, I just while I do this, let me just explain to you guys. Uh, the link to download this is actually right on Google. Um, it's best that uh, you go and you Google BCM 2013 compatibility, um, and you'll be able to find the link to a full install of Business Contact Manager. All right, looks like there's no upgrade to this yet. Uh, no, I mean no patch for it yet for this particular error that I'm having could also be my database. I'm not going to spend uh, a whole lot of time tr trying to troubleshoot it. But I just want to show you guys that it did pick up all my databases from 2010 that I had on this machine previously. Uh, it actually did convert. If you look at these Google entries, a lot of people here are talking about um, BCM for Outlook 2013. Um, six days ago, two posts, two, three days ago. So this is all brand new stuff. So it, it has been announced Again, just Google BCM 2013 compatibility, um, and it's the very first link on Microsoft. You'll be able to download the compatibility pack, and if you're looking for a full reinstall similar to what I did, um, I just went on and did a full reinstall. On the very bottom, um, where you're looking for, and they give you all these links, the very first link for the full installation upgrading from Manager 2007. But I upgraded from 2010 which could also be why I'm experiencing these bugs, but uh, I'm just testing it out. Uh, this was only published on the 30th, and today is the 13th. Yes, today, yeah. today is February 13th. So with that said, um, it looks like uh, for the most part, there may still be some bugs or some, some uh, issues with the software. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that it, it will all be resolved. And I'm going to post some more videos as I, as I go along. Uh, and trying to rectify the situation. Um, and I'm sure Microsoft has already released a fix. I'm actually going to look into it. I'm just uh, a bit tired, excuse me. Uh, and that's it. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, how the new Outlook um, pretty much works with uh, BCM. I really like the UI. I'm really glad they decided to make a compatibility pack for it. It's actually very, very cool um, and very useful. So if you consider upgrading to 2013, I do recommend it. I happen to really enjoy Office 2013. I use it at work. I use it at home. Um, and it's very important to stay on top of technology as much as possibly as we possibly can. Uh, so that's it. I'll conclude this video with um, with this note. Yeah, I see here the form is still broken. And my next video will be how to customize a little bit in here. And I'll be conducting some some lessons, hopefully, if I have the time. Uh, and that's it. So this is BCM 2013, more or less, for you.
So remember, just Google BCM 2013 compatibility. It is in the Microsoft Download Center. It is available. You must have a professional version of uh, a Microsoft Office 2013. Uh, and you should be good to go. Thank you for watching.